my name is amit i'm a senior mentor at mbaec i've done my btech and mtech both from iit madras and for past 11 years i've been into cat training i'm i'm training mentoring students for their cat preparation and also for other exams like gre gmat etc okay so as you know those of you who are following our channel you very well know that every day we post one question good quality question and through that question we explain some beautiful concept to you which will be very very handy in your cat exam or in any other exam that you might appear for mb entrances so this is another question of the same series this is again a numbers question the funda behind this question we have already discussed in the previous question so you can go back and watch the previous video if you have not because we are not going to explain the concept behind it because we have already discussed it so to avoid duplicity we will straight away jump into into the act of solving the question all right let us go through it the question says that how many three digit numbers in decimal system so my number has to be a three digit number in decimal system right how many three digit numbers in decimal system are also three digit number in octal system so three digit number in octal system means base 8 octal system means base 8 and but when converted into base 6 but are four digit number in base 6 yani ki usko agar hum log base 6 mein convert karenge it will become a four digit number four digit number in base 6 so this is our question we have to found find the number of uh, three digit numbers in decimal system which when converted in base 8 also remains a three digit number but when converted into base 6 becomes a four digit number we already know the funda behind it so straight away we can find out the answer we know that three digit number three digit number in base 10 starts from 100 and goes up to 999 so my number has to be between this range some numbers between this range right we also know that three digit number in base 8 when converted into base 10 will start from 8 square that is 64 and it will go up to 8 cube minus 1 that is 511 so these are the numbers in decimal system which when converted into base 8 will give me the range of three digit number in base 8 we have already seen this if you have not understood the, if you don't understand the the idea behind it i will i will strongly urge you to watch the previous video question of the day for 18th of october right remember that you can watch that video and get the no five funda behind this now we also know that four digit number in base 6 four digit number in base 6 starts from 6 cube that is 216 and goes up to 6 power 4 minus 1 so that is 1296 minus 1 1295 remember this is 6 cube this is 6 power 4 minus 1 this is 6 square and this is Sorry, eight square, and this is eight cube minus one. So that is the range. We have already discussed this pattern. So my number has to be in this range, and in this range, and in this range. Now think about it. Can we start from sixty-four? If we start from sixty-four, the sixty-four does not fall in this range. So we cannot have, you uh, know, we cannot begin with sixty-four, right? Because it has to be a common range number has to be between 100 and 999 it has to be between 64 and 511 it also has to be between 216 and 1295 so between these three ranges we have to find the common range so the common range will start from 216 because 216 is in every range 216 is between 100 and 999 between 64 and 511 and in this range 216 is the first number so to, we will start with 216 so the common range begins with 216 and look at the upper limit here 999 511 1295 if you take 1295 as the as the last number in the range but 1295 does not fall in this range or in this range right these two range 1295 does not fall so from here you take the smallest number the smallest number is 511 now 511 is in this range also 100 to 999 is definitely here the last number is 511 in the third range also 511 lies between 216 and 1295 511 lies so my common range is this 
so my number has to be between 216 and 511 in order to satisfy all these three conditions so how many numbers are there 511 minus 216 right plus 1 so this will give you 295 plus 1 296 so my answer for this question is a option 296 now remember now just notice that we have added one here why do we add one here because when you subtract 216 from 511 you are not counting 216 Say for example, if somebody says how many numbers are there between 3 and 6. So if you do 6 minus 3, you'll get 3. But 3, there are 4 numbers, no? The numbers are 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there are 4 numbers between 3 and 6. But when you do 6 minus 3, it'll give you only 3. So you are not including, you're not counting 3 here. You're counting from 4. When you subtract, you're counting from 4. So you're discounting 3. So in order to compensate for this, you add 1, right? So similarly here, between 216 and 511, there are not 295 numbers, but there is one extra. This one extra is because we are not counting the first number 216. So we have to compensate for that and therefore we are adding 1 here. Okay. I hope you have understood the method here. And please go to the previous question, the 18th November, sorry, 18th October question of the day series video, yesterday's video and watch the idea behind it, the funda behind it. We have explained it in great detail. I hope by watching these two videos, you will have a fair idea as to how to approach these types of questions. These are our number system questions related to base systems. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Best wishes for your CAD preparation.